Ocean Parade! Ari! Blue's out of fashion, so now you have to wear pink! Pink is everything! Pink is the new pink! And you do not want to be seen wearing last year's antlers. Now we're talking! Ooh la la! Look at this, Ari! Aren't you just the prettiest moose ever, ever? Oh, Chicky, come in! What happened to your hair? Did a mongoose fight a cobra in it? You've come to the right place! By the time you leave that chair, you'll be the fanciest chicken in the entire world! Don't be scared and please don't scoff! Do everything I say, now turn and cough! And by the time I turn this dryer off, you're gonna have a wonder quaff! <laughs> there is such power in beauty! <laughs> hey guys! Hmm? How you doing? The fox has arrived! Oh, Franny! Hi there! You're looking very... Franny, um... are you feeling alright? Are you sick or something? <gasps> Did you get bit by a clown zombie? Not that you understand about fashion, but this entire look is in vogue now. And I'll make you boys <laughs> fashionable too! <laughs> Okay, Bjorn, you're first. Yeah, but I've already got a style. <laughs> go on, go with her. You need it. I'm dying to get a look at the new and improved style in Bjorni. Mm. Trust me, Bjorn, because I'm the best. We're going to get that boring, hairy dress. I promise <laughs> you, you'll be impressed when your head suit has more zest. With the perfect hairscape on your head could be a traffic cone or a flower bed. But when we find your famous spread. They'll be green with envy and see in red. Cause your head will shred. You're a revelation. I just look sorta, well, awesome. <laughs> well, Bucky, feast your eyes on this sight. <laughs> oh, guys, thank you. I haven't laughed this much in forever. Are you supposed to be a space librarian or something? <laughs> Bucky, you just don't know. This is totally in style. Franny, educate him. Well, I'll try. But it might be hopeless. Well, Bucky, it's your turn to become a fashionable bear. Oh, no, you don't. I've got the most style of anyone here. But I'm really begging you, Bucky. Pretty please, just this once. Pretty please with a ton of gooey honey on it? Then later, we'll have a high fashion party right here in the forest. And I'll make pies. Pies? Uh, well, in that case, do your stuff. Just don't make me look like that. Of course, I've got more to work with. Thinking bald or hair up to the moon or maybe evoke like a solid gold baboon. Now, what to use? Yes, perfect swoon! The classic bold balloon! He looks like a buffoon! You love it, right? Uh, so it's balloons? Inflatables are big this year. You'll be a fashion icon, Bucky! Really? A fashion icon? Well, all right then. About time. I came out so much better than non-icon huh? Bjorn um, did. No, I'm a total fashion plate. Well, I need to make the pies. You look amazing. So, Bjorn, you up uh, for some badminton? Sure, why not? But don't muss my hair. Uh-oh. Uh Welcome to style over function. Sheesh, I can't cook in this. Golly, fashion is kind of uh, unbalanced and wobbly. And I can't see anything through these glasses. La la la, spread the blanket like that, la la. Franny, hey, what are you wearing? You forgot to bring your stuff. Boys, fashion's just superficial. I think we should rise above all that. I don't understand anything that happened today. <laughs> Who cares? Let's run around like crazy mammals! <laughs> <laughs> The 
the bear on the moon. Yeah? Good. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And... Bucky, quit sitting on your bottom. Get over here and help me load up. I'm not just sitting on my bottom. I'm running ground tests of all the ship's systems before we leave on our expedition. And anyway, I'm the captain. Loading is grunt work. And on this crew, grunt means huh? you. <laughs> hey, Bucky. Hey, Bjorn. What are you guys doing today? Going on a little space trip or something? Franny, hey there. We're not going to space. We're going to the moon. We're going up to the moon to plant some trees. There's no plants growing up there at all. A tree planting expedition? Totally cool idea. Me and Chicky are definitely coming. We'll be in charge of tying pretty ribbons around the trunks of the baby trees. Nope. No chickies or little kids allowed. This isn't a game. <sighs> it's serious. Franny, try not to be upset. We'll bring you back a beautiful moon rock. The prettiest one ever. All right, so it's like that, is it? But don't expect to get any more yummy fruit punch. Chicky, guess what, buddy? You and this fox are headed to the moon! Sneaky, sneaky, take a peeky! Sweet. This is your captain speaking. We're about to fly to the moon in three, two, one, and ignition! Yeah, we're out of here. We're zooming past. Stratosphere. The deep blue sky is cool and clear in the final fun frontier. Chicky? Hey there, guys. Franny, hey, what? What are you doing here? This is Amaze Pants Awesome! Franny, hi. You just can't be here, Franny. You'll cause too much trouble. Bucky, she's here, so get used to it. I mean, it's not like we can just turn the rocket around. You're right. Don't touch anything. Don't even look at stuff, all right? Aye, aye, Captain. That's kind of cool. Is that the steering wheel? Franny, steering the ship off course is most definitely touching something. Okay, me and Bjorni need to explore. Don't touch anything in the rocket. Especially don't touch a single button, all right? Yes, I heard you the first hundred times. Don't be gone too long, guys. You can 
can do it! Bjorn dribbles like a dribbling machine, fakes like a faking machine, and runs like a running machine, too! And he shoots like a... No! Bjorn shoots like a missing machine. Uh, oh, oh. Hey, there's no need to feel bad, Bjorny. How about instead, let's draw something? All right. It might be fun to draw something. All right. The art we're doing today is the art of the masses. It's called graffiti. Watch me graffiti. Huh? Beautiful. Franny, can I have a turn now? Give the paint to Bjorn, and art is born. Huh? Yay, Bjorn! It's adorable! It's a bunny, right? It's actually meant to be chicky. Forget graffiti. A scooter ride would be a lot more fun. <laughs> Just great. My front wheel came off. Well, that's it for riding, then. Don't go away. Maybe we can fix it. If we work together. Why bother? It just dropped right off again. Because nothing I do ever works out. Let's go to Bucky's place. He'll fix it right. Jetpack, 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 jetpack. Hey, hi guys. Notice anything different? Uh, haircut? Bucky, hey there. New sweater? Nah. What I was looking for was more purple pine cones, Buck. You're flying. It's way cool, Bucky. There's nothing you can't do when you're wearing a sweet jetpack. Bucky, can I please have a turn with it? Oh, please, I'm begging, Buck. Here you go, Bjorn. Ah, oh, thanks so much. You're the best. You're the best, best friend in the world. And we're all set. Just a simple bear in his jetpack. How about we give this whole day a do-over? First, basketball. <laughs> like an unstoppable scoring machine! Nailed it! He shoots, he scores! Now that I've got this jetpack, I can do anything! Scoring machine! <laughs> no, no, no! I'm very high up! Looks like my luck has Okay, these guys go here, and these rascals go there. These are just nuts, and where... Bucky, uh, could you please repair the jetpack for me? Yeah, in a little while. But first I have to finish with all this stuff, though. Uh, what are you doing, Bucky? Because I'd be happy to help you. I'm just sorting all these parts. Like, these go here, and these go there. Yeah, that makes sense. I think I understand. Yeah, yeah, just leave it to me. Like with like, and same with same with same. Zip, zack, zing. Hey, it's almost like a game. Organizing may just be my claim to fame. Wow, that was so great. Dude, you're my hero. That was amazing. Like a great basketball player, but with hardware. It was nothing. Bucky, now can you fix the jetpack? You bet, in just a minute. Right after I finish, hmm, painting my spaceship. Wanna help? Just point me to the paint. Hurry, hurry, scurry, scurry, scurry. Paint, 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 paint until it's through. Move in such a flurry. I'm a painting furry blurry. And there you go, your spaceship is now blue. Woo hoo hoo hoo! Yay, it looks like a sweater. I didn't have any idea that you could paint so prettily. Beautiful job. It's not the typical design for a spaceship, but it is awesome. Well, that's done. Now can you fix the jetpack? Yeah, buddy. I'll get it fixed up good as new. As soon as I finish one thing, fixing the wheels on my car. On it. Okay, fine. I've come this far. Sure, I'll put the wheels back on your car. I'll run as far as I have to run, because the jetpack is just so much fun. There, car, done. The wheels are on your car. Time to fix the jetpack. You know what, Bjorn? I was thinking something. What if you don't need the jetpack? Hey, you're right. You did all those great things. You're awesome without it. Yeah? You think that? We know that. But I'll still fix the jetpack for you, buddy. Because flying is mega crazy awesome. Just like you, Bjorny. Bucky, 
too. Just need to thing the doohickey, tighten up the what's it. After that, it's sure to work. Bucky, hey there. My ball just got stuck up in a tree. Will you please help me get it down again? Franny, sorry, but I'm busy. I'm making an invention that's so crazy cool, it'll knock your socks off. Sounds great. But who's going to help me get my ball unstuck from the tree? Just ask Bjorn. But he's really scared of heights. Well, I have a ladder you can use. I can't carry that. What, should I split in two so you can carry it? Whoa, that's quite an idea. Right then, just wait out there. I need, like, five minutes. Hooray, you're the best. One Bucky's pretty good, but a pair would be better. The bulb above my head begins to shine, and I hatch a brand new grand design. When you see this cool new thing of mine, you're gonna call me Victor Buckenstein! He's alive! Well, on at least. Well, Bucky too? Come on, say something, dude. Something, dude. Oh, right. Just let me make an adjustment back here. Something, dude. Something, dude! Hello, compañero. Something, dude. Uh, Something, dude. Howdy there. Permit me to introduce myself. My name is Bucky Bear. How about this weather? Gorgeous. Uh, what? I'm not like that. I'll turn down the grinning small talk. What's up? Bucky's the name. Isn't the weather rockin'? Closer. Should be all right. So now, Bucky the second, my friend, find Franny and help her out. What a great plan. <laughs> Ah, other me! So you're home! Yeah, uh huh? Why don't you rest? Where can you take a break? Mm, yeah, in there! Great! A little more time and I'll be done! Bucky, hi there! Hi, Bjorn! So my fishing rod got all snagged up on something in the river. Can you help me unsnag it? Are you guys doing this on purpose? What are you talking about, Bucky? I'm not even sure. Of course I'll help you. I just need a little minute or two. Okay, thanks. We'll be right outside. Other me, I've got another job for you. Bjorn needs your help with something. I'd love to help. Great. Bye. I've got such an amazing mind. It's just perfect having other me. I've got so much more time to get stuff done. Oh, it's other me. Well, did you help my friend? Yeah, of course, original me. Well, great. Uh, you're really excellent, you know, at being me. So thanks. All right, get some rest. If I need you, I'll let you know. Bucky, thanks for huh? your help with my rod. You want to go play soccer? And pig out on some really yummy pies? I've got all these new recipes that are just the nummiest. Soccer and pie? Now that sounds like a good time. I'll be there in a minute. I just need to do another thing or two. <sighs> hey, other me. I don't need any help. Soccer and pie eating aren't a bad interruption. Not fair. They're my good friends. I'm the one that helped. I'm the one that gets to play. Um, other me? Is this some kind of a joke? You're a thing that I made. No, I'm a better Bucky than you are. Hey, put me down. Whoa, whoa. Let me out of here! Now you're other and I'm original. <coughs> here I come, guys, and I'm ready to play! <laughs> Mind is racing, pacing, pacing, angry clone I should be facing. My replacement needs replacing! Uh. It's genius time! Okay, sure hope the latches are biting today. Yes, victory! Take that, other me! If you're lucky, I'll make you into a floor buffer someday. Bucky, we're sorry. Our kite. So, it sort of got tangled in a tree. Can you help us? But... If you're too busy... Are you kidding? I'm happy to help. Well, let's go rescue a kite. Ugh! Miracle, Miracle invention! invention.
Hunter. <laughs> Chicky! Hey there! What you doing? Some dragonfly hunting? Chicky, you're a lucky bird! Let me introduce your yellow behind to the dragon snagging wagon! Look here! Um, just press the button! Yeah! Oh! Ah, okay, maybe give it a little room! See, Chicky? Just like that! Knock yourself out, little guy! You're welcome! Franny, hey there! What you doing? Hello, Bucky! Just hanging up my clothes. <laughs> Franny, my friend! You're a lucky fox! Look what I just invented! It's called the Higher Dryer Spire, and you're gonna love it! Look! We'll put this here, and this here, and that there! Whoa, you've got a lot of clothes! Uh -huh. Ready! Just push this! Look at that! Knock yourself out, Franny! You're welcome! Oh! So, uh, I guess, uh, thanks, Bucky! Huh? Uh, ah! Hey there, Bjorni. Gee, so what you doing? I'm just watching the leaves falling. There's just nothing quite like them. You call that falling? Ha! I'll give you some falling leaves. Ta-da! Meet the Guster Thruster. Now there's some falling leaves. Uh, uh, uh. Bucky, what are you doing? What do you mean? some recalibration, but overall, I think we crushed it. Right, buddy? Well, the truth is that I kind of prefer it when the leaves fall by themselves. Bucky, no invention could ever hope to compete with the incredible beauty of nature itself. Like, for instance, that rainbow there. Just look at how unbelievably beautiful it is. Rainbow, huh? Sure, I guess it's pretty. So you see, it's true. You can't make beauty like that with one of your inventions. Yeah? Huh? Is that right? Well, what I'm gonna do is make a rainbow-generating machine now. Red, orange, yellow, and green, and blue. And indigo and violet, too. Oh, there's nothing my machines can't do. And I'm on a quest to prove it's true. Bjorn, I'll show you. Hi there, presenting my awesome new invention, the crazy amazing spectral schism prism mechanism. It makes rainbows. Ta-da! Just look at that! <laughs> Lucky, your rainbow is a little bit, uh, wonky. Uh, it needs a little adjustment. Just a bit, uh, oh, no, not maybe, yes, uh, Twinkie. Uh, just work, you hunk of junk. Uh, hey. uh, uh, almost there. A few more seconds and I'll have it. Bucky, would it be all right if I went home? Then you could amaze us with all this later. Are you kidding? You can't leave. We're seconds away from witnessing the world's first perfect artificial rainbow. Come on, just work. I know you can do it! Ugh. Ugh! Bucky! Look there! Up in the sky! It's the... Goodness, it's just like the Northern Lights! Just like the Northern Lights? Really? Are you sure? Yeah, we have them in the north where I come from. Northern Lights? Awesome! I'm a genius! After all, we don't need fake rainbows. We get real ones all the time. The Northern Lights on the other paw. Bucky, thank you so much. Look, over there, a shooting star. Aw, I didn't even get a chance to make a wish. Bucky, where are you going? Um, I'll be back with my new falling star making machine. Because that's what I do. Rain like a drain. All right, everyone 
Everyone's here! It's my big, important honor to declare the Forest Tennis Open is, um, open! Yay! <laughs> I hope you're prepared to lose, Bjorn. I'm prepared for the opposite of losing. Me and my lucky racket, Chester, are gonna super unlose. Wait, where the heck is Chester? And where's Wham Wham? Franny, have you done something with our rackets? Gosh, I might have. So then where are they? There. Um, there. Well, I don't remember. Why don't you guys just play with mine? Oh, come on! Is this a heart? Looks like a big pink lima bean. Bucky, they're fine. Come on, let's play. Oh, all right. Okay, here we go. Time to show just how well I... No! How well I... No! No! <laughs> no, 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 no! Just what's going on? See, Franny? These silly lima bean loner rackets are a disaster. Well, it could be a problem with the racket, or it could be that one of us just stinks at tennis. Well, it's not the one who's me, because I'm a tennis ninja. You're the one who stinks at it. Uh, Bucky, I'll show you. That really wasn't what I meant to do. Okay, that was you. I think I hate these rackets, too. Huh? <laughs> Bucky, you're right. We can't play with these rackets. They're throwing our entire game off. What I need is to get my paw wrapped around Chester again. Hey, hey Franny, Franny, where, where did, did you put our racket? <gasps> Maybe here? No, not here. Uh, they were here. Definitely. Maybe. Possibly. Possibly, Franny? What is that? It's clear that you've forgotten. All right, Franny. Just close your eyes and picture the rackets. See the roundness and the twangulosity. You have them in your grip and sit them down where? I remember! Ha -ha! Uh, well, it's close at least, though. Bucky, I think we might need a different strategy for this. So, to help Franny remember, we must recreate the exact conditions of the very day she lost them, which was when? I think it was... I want to say it was a Tuesday? Great! Just like today! Noonish? Just like the current time! In October! Just like... say what? October? That's right! At the beginning of autumn, all the leaves were as yellow as cheese! Okay, just let me think! Well, oh, well, oh, well, oh! Yellow, hello, yellow! Come with me, good fellow! We're gonna weave a mustard tastic spell! Okay, Franny, just look around. Yellow trees, just like in the fall. What exactly were you doing then? Well, duh. We were playing tennis. All right. You stand here, Bjorn, and I'll stand there, just like in the real game. I think I was over there, and you were over here. I wasn't over there. We were playing on these sides. My memory's like glue. The glue's wrong. Uh -huh. My memory's like concrete. No. Flashing yes. back. I'm gonna play over here, all right? Not a chance. Why do you have to argue about everything? It's no fun to play like that. I'm just gonna go home. Here, Franny, you play. You're not the only one who can shout stuff and go home. Here, tennis is a great game. Have fun. But I can't play tennis by myself. But your rackets. Uh, I'm done with that thing. Chuck it. Flashing unback. I remember! Huh? Nope. Nope. Nope, nope. Yep, yep. Our, Our rackets. rackets! All, All right, right, Franny, thanks! My plan worked! We fooled your brain with my masterful recreation! Nah. What did it was you guys arguing? Just like you were on that day. What do you mean? We never argue. We're best friends. Isn't that right? Of course that's right, dude. Now let's play some tennis. Bucky, uh, where's the ball? What? How should I know you had it last, Bjorn? This is how the arguing starts. This isn't an argument. This is me telling Bucky that he lost the ball and him being stubborn and wrong. I'm not the one who's being stubborn. My memory's like concrete Why glue. Why do you argue about everything? I'm done. In fact, I think I'm just going home. Movie, movie, movie. Well? Come on, Franny. We've got to see what your 
your big surprises. A fancy cake or some crazy awesome punch, please? Nope. Welcome to the world premiere of Franny's Big Adventure! Adventure? You made a movie, guys? <laughs> This'll be great! Come on! Dude, start this movie! Did you make some popcorn? In our film, a prince has undergone 48 trials. Spoiler alert, though, right, guys? Guess I should just let you see for yourselves. Chicky, it's showtime! 48! La, 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 la. My brave and persistent prince! After such a long time, my goodness, you've finally done it! Complete 48 grand and awesome trials, haven't you? My noble hero! La, la, la. What in the world was that? A tale of love, and adventure, and thankless tasks. It's kind of a metaphor for being alive. Take it easy there, Spielberg. What it was was super boring. Bjorn, back me up here. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I guess for a first try, it wasn't bad. What? Bjorn, come on! A movie's supposed to have all kinds of effects. Superheroes everywhere. So, thanks for sharing your so-called movie, Franny. Mm. But now, Bjorn and I are gonna make a movie. A good one. <laughs> <laughs> Robo Bjorn versus Buccinator. Scene 1-A, take one. Speed! Crane! <laughs> <laughs> Prepare yourself, Frenny, to have your mind blown by a movie masterpiece. I can't stand carrots! Can't stand you! Can't stand you! Can't stand all of you orange skinny dudes! Take that, evil health missile! Buccinator! Uh, what? Is the crane broken? Ah! Buccinator! How dare you mess with my new atomic quantum nuclear carrots! Veggie vengeance! Ha! <laughs> Your wimpy vegetables have no effect on me, robo loser! <laughs> Whoa! Really falling! Hooray! Veggie's victorious! Bucky, seriously, are you all right? Wonderful! That was really creative! A whole movie about carrots! It's about time! Are you serious, Franny? It's not about carrots! It's got robots and superheroes and fights! Come on, Bjorn, tell her! Sorry, but Franny's kind of right. It's a fight over carrots, dude. It's pretty goofy. Hang on, guys. What if it were a fight over a princess, though? I could never pull off the princess look. I will be the princess. I already have the outfit. What? Make a movie with you? Bucky, don't you think a princess would make a better character than the carrot did? All right, fine. But I draw the line at doofus dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dramatically satisfying princess. Care about me. I am innocent and sweet. It'd be such a shame if I got eaten by a big dragon. Eaten by a big dragon. A big weight dragon. Oh my, help, help. Oh, where is my sweet prince, Alack? Don't let me become a dragon snack. I'm here, your princess Ness. I'll do uh, your rescue now. And I'll save you as well, your princess Ness. What are you doing? You're my horse. My character's more than a simple horse. He's a genetically altered horse bear. Hey, if you work together to rescue me, it's a buddy picture. Ow! Uh, Chicky, gracious, uh, did I hit you? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine too. Thanks for asking. But just let me collect my knighting stuff and I'll vanquish him! Um, ah! Oh, my heroes have saved me! Now, we dance! Ah, Long ah, live Horse Bear! Ah, that was just awesome! We are a couple of geniuses! And without a single root vegetable, right, Franny? Huh? Huh? Hmm. Your galaxy has been selected for engoopulation. Plurp, plurp, plurp. Ah! Uh, I'm too handsome to engoopulate. It's me! We have got to make a science fiction movie next. La, 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 Opposite day.
This is rather puzzling. <laughs> and this, this piece is not the one I need. There you are, right in there, perfect fit. And where's the other red one? Is it one that I dropped? Bjorn, <laughs> how's it going? Have any plans today? Bucky, hey, good morning. I'm trying to get this puzzle together, but there's a piece I can't find. Could you help me find it? Of course I couldn't. Couldn't? But Bucky, why couldn't you? Let me not tell you why I couldn't. Because it's opposite day. Isn't that awful? Like if I say no, it really means yes. I thought it up myself. Huh? Come on, Bjorn, it's the least fun ever. Give it a try. Opposite day, huh? Oh, there you are. Look, I found it. Hooray! No, wait. I mean, I didn't find it. I'm so sorry. What do you say? The two of us do not pay Franny a visit. Let's ride in this awesome sports car that's completely mine. It's not yours. Right. Opposite day. Golly, Bucky, drive slower, please. Wait, I mean, go faster and maybe drive forwards. I mean, backwards. I mean, ugh. Super yummy. And now I'll finish the soup. Soupy, soupy, soup, soup. Getting there. Hello there, Franny. Wait, I meant to say goodbye. You're here already, guys? You're so early. The soup isn't done. I need, like, an hour. Franny, it's fine, because guess what? It's opposite day all day long. Life in reverse, which means we eat our dessert first. This stinks. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I mean, no. No dishwashing. Not on opposite day. Opposites are so much fun. This is the greatest idea ever. I mean, the worst. Hooray for opposite day. The absolute worst. Everything is backwards. Words back is thing every. Up is down and yes is really no. Very topsy-turvy. Turvy topsy-very. Black is white and fast is really slow. I am gonna put a shoe on my hand. I'm gonna take a swim in the sand. In opposite land. Upside down and flip-flopped. Flop, flip, and down upside. Night means day and stop is really go. Bucky, Bjorn, and Franny. Enorp and Robbie Cub. Hot is cold and goodbye means hello. I'll put my underwear on my head. I will sleep standing up in my bed. I'll say boo instead of hooray. I'll say I'm working hard while I play. It's opposite day. <laughs> I'm having such a good time. And I think that we should have opposite day every day, boys. I disagree. Let's not do it. Franny, can I please have some fruit punch? Oh, I mean, can I please not have some fruit punch? And Franny, can I not have punch either? Sure thing. I would be sad to not bring you guys a drink. Franny, what are you doing? Why are you pouring the punch like that? We have to do everything the opposite way, right? That means we should drink the punch first, and once we've done that, we fill the cups, right? I mean, wrong? There is such a thing as opposite day overkill. I think that it's time for me and Bjorn to leave. Mm hmm. Hmm. Bjorn, why are you still sitting? Right, fine. Bjorn, let's both stay here forever. Sure, I'm not driving, all right? Bye. All right, Bjorny, don't punch it. Bjorn, watch out! We're about to crash! Please don't stop! You almost just wiped out! Are you crazy? Well, you're the bear who told me not to punch it. And today, not punching it means full speed ahead. Yeah, yeah. Don't you mean full speed behind? Know what, Bjorn? Enough opposite day. I'm done. It's gotten a little bit ridiculous. Let's act normally, all right? If that's what you want to do, then you got it, pal. Hey, guys. I didn't find another jug of punch. Would you like to not have some? We love some. Oh, well. More for me then, I guess. <laughs> Franny! Well, she doesn't have the hiccups. We should try not scaring her. <laughs> <laughs> A grand adventure!
So I was thinking, we'd start at the river here, then we'll hike through these woods, and then climb this mountain right to the top. Why do we want to climb to the top? This is the super cool part. The plan is to jump off the peak wearing parachutes. Chicky and I will be home having a lovely time making yummy fruit punch. Come on, Chicky. Bucky, do you really need a backpack you could fit the moon in? Yeah, totally. I'll be ready for whatever nature throws our way. This bag is full of everything we could possibly need. Huh? What? Why? Huh? Bucky, what's the problem? It's no big disaster at all. Some reeds have gotten wrapped around the propeller. I've got exactly what we need. Somewhere, somewhere. Hey, look! It's a grappling hook. Whoops. It's stuck. That was the wrong thing. Somewhere. Let's get paddling, dude. Like this. This is hard work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you paddling at all? Because it doesn't seem like you are. Friend, if you're there, come and help this humble bear. Wow, look. Bjorn, enormous fish. Very enormous fish. How are you so calm? Bjorn, fishzilla. Bjorn, did you see that mega gargantuan fish just now? Am I crazy pants or did a giant fish just come out of nowhere and carry us to shore? What's next? A cloud ride to the moon? A little marshy. Nothing could possibly go wrong. We're kind of sinking, Bucky. You think? You forget you're adventuring with Captain Prepare. I just need my grappling hook. Uh, right. I dropped the hook into the river, so we're totally sinking. You see that, Bucky? A whole bunch of ants. Well, are there ants in your brain? Because you appear to be dancing. While we're sinking into a swamp, what are you doing? Is this some oh, sort of come to thing? me. Bjorn? Friends, help this bear pull free. Bucky, grab on. Nice. Thank you so much, my friends. You little guys are just the best. Look at the teeny tiny things. Who would have thought they could do it? Here you go. Thanks a lot. Dude, wait up! My oldest and strongest of friends, our climb on your help depends. Yarn, it's just a rock. A little too far with the nature bear stuff. To climb, you just need muscles and will. Bucky, take a look. It's an eagle. Just beautiful. Come on, Bjorn. Climbers shouldn't get distracted. We didn't come here to look at nature. Huh? <laughs> oh! <gasps> Bjorn, help me, please! Strong monarch of the air, save the disrespectful bear! Hey, I've got respect. Tons of it! Nature's the best! Whoa! Take it easy with those talents. I mean, thanks and all, but really, you can put me down anytime. Huh? Whoa, awesome! Bjorn, did you see that? That bird's great! Oh, the view is just insane. Shame Franny isn't here to see it. Whoa, haunted backpack! <laughs> Surprise! Are you bears thirsty for some fruit yummy punch? Party time on a mountain top where the fun, fun, fun doesn't ever stop. We're gonna chug some punch and have a photo up. Be careful though, cause it's quite a drop. A rotten. That is terrifying! What big dum dum came up with the idea of parachuting? Oh, climb, thank you very much. Bjorn, what kind of groovy creature are you gonna have take us across the river? Mermaid? Are you gonna unleash the Kraken? I will be calling upon that astonishing, mysterious, and noble creature your boat motor, Bucky. Come on! At least call the whale! School of tuna? One really buff goldfish? Five moves ahead! Now it's my turn! Come on, six! Come on, big six! Come on, big six! Yeah! Hooray, six! One and two, three, four. 
four, five, six. Well, there it is! Brandy wins again! Booyah! Victory dance! It's my victory dance! Oh, you never had a ghost of a chance! Woo! And to the victor, the spoils. One piece of candy for beating you. Franny, uh, that's your, like, two dozenth candy today. Uh, yeah, because I've trounced you two dozen times. Ready to play again? Come on, big six! Huh? <laughs> Booyah! To the victor, the spoils. Victory dance! To the victor, the spoils. Golly, I'm sorry, but I'm worn out. Franny, how do you win every single time? It's simple. My secret is I'm always thinking five moves ahead, Bjorni. Big six. Booyah! I'll be victory dancing soon. Nope. Come on, big six. Ah, please? Come on, six. Ah. There you go, six. So what's all this? It's just, it's Franny. I can't ever seem to beat her at this game. If you have trouble winning the game, maybe it's the rules fault. Bucky, no! I could never, ever cheat! I'll do my victory dance while you just stand there like a big loser pants! All right. Go on. Show me what you mean. Thought you'd never ask. Bucky Bear is on the case. The next time Franny gets in your face, you're gonna put her back into her place and erase your disgrace! Gonna twist a screw and pound a nail. Gonna bolt a frame and mount a rail. And when you play the game on Bucky scale, no way you'll fail. Here's the deal. Behind me is your one-way ticket to victory over Franny. I've built a slightly larger version of the exact same game board. With a few improvements. Right, just move here. If you're here, say, for instance, and Franny is a little bit ahead, <laughs> you're gonna love this, watch! Whoa. And just like that, Franny is behind you! Whoa, that's cool! Get Franny, dude, because it's your turn to taste sweet victory! Get ready, Bjorn! Get ready to watch me eat that prize candy! We'll just have to see about that, won't we? And so it begins! Five! This is gonna be so much fun! Silly game. Hey there, good friends. This is for you. <laughs> hey, Chippy, stop. We're starting to feel a little bit seasick over here. 